chute and a drift to the left. There's some old newspaper there. Okay, so we have some options here. Um, I think I'll just head on straight for now since that left direction looks a little messed up, but there's a shovel, stick it in the ground. This chute, well, you can see it goes up quite a ways actually. It's hard to see on the camera. That's a former manway. Seems like we're away from the vein now. I'm assuming this was a vein and not some other type of ore body. Faces out right there. And this just keeps going and going and going. I, uh, my understanding is that this goes to the main shaft we've been seeing. Seems like we might be on a vein now. Got another junction. Wow, this is uh, pretty extensive. There's a jar up there. <laughs> Chocolate flavored syrup. Interesting. That keeps going. Um, I'll hit that on the way back. I feel like that probably loops up with something else. There's winds. I still see rails on the ground, of course, so this likely goes somewhere important. Wow, look at those. Stalactites. That's, uh, that's calcite. I'm gonna skip that one as well for now and go this way. No more rails, so not sure what's going on. That's a man way. Wow, more 
branches. Big mess here. Um, this is that uh, shaft station. Um, if we poke our heads in here, you can see a cage, it looks like, barely. And that stuff has all come down from the shaft, so this is basically the bottom of that shaft. And uh, over time, all this crap has caused the station to fall down and collapse, so. So again, at one time, the miners were entering this level right here, and continuing this way. Um, this looks not very promising, so I'm not gonna go back there. Uh, again, we're trying to save as much time as possible just to see the highlights of this place. I will take the branch off to our right now. I don't know how well it shows up, but that is bright green. That's cool. Um, the face of this drift is right back there, so we're going to head out back toward the winds. It's kind of interesting. These shoes Advertised for four dollars. Nice dress shoes for four dollars. Then some more shoes advertised on the back there. I wish I could buy a pair of shoes for four dollars. Okay, you guys probably remember this junction. And we didn't go back here yet, so we'll do that right now. Make our way through all this uh, loose lumber. If I had to guess, um, if I had to guess, this probably connects up with the main haulage that we've already explored, so we'll see. Oh, maybe not. Huh. That ends past this. This chute. And that seems to be it here. So they probably just found something they liked and mined it out. And, and when they were finished, they uh, threw a bunch of lumber back here. This is looking into one of the drifts we haven't gone down yet. Uh, this one looks like a uh, classic death trap. And it also smells pretty bad back there. So, again, in the interest of saving time and seeing the highlights, we're gonna skip that one. Okay, I did decide to venture down this drift. It's hard to see there, but that is a collapse blocking the entire tunnel. And this is somewhat near the main winds. I recognize this. So we've finished up everything there. That way's collapsed, so we will go back to the winds. Okie dokie, we just came down that. It's the main winds. We're standing on a drift level now, and uh, I'm not sure if that ever continued off that way. 
I actually, I'm guessing it did, and they just backfilled all of it. Um, the winds continues further down. Uh, a few more levels down there. And then this is the remaining drift level at this station. So, we'll give it a look. Looks like it's uh, pretty badly collapsed right there, actually. False floor over the stope here. That doesn't look great. Okay, this is further up here. Um, this isn't looking too good. It's gonna take a while to climb through all this crap. So, if we have time on the way back, we'll see it. But for now, uh, I'm gonna climb back down the winds, continue on to the next level. Okay, we are on another level. There's the winds again. This one's got a nice little platform over over top the winds. And I noticed there here is a trap door. Kind of neat. And uh, this thing probably opened at one point. I'm a little nervous to open it because there's people below me and I don't want to send a bunch of rocks on them. Um, but it would have opened. And the other trapdoor for this side is actually sitting over here, I noticed. Right there. And a barrel. A lot bigger than the other ones we saw. And then on the other side is another drift. I think we're going to try this way first. There's a bunch of dynamite right here. So I have to make my way across this very, very, very carefully. I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, past the dynamite. Really hope this is worth the risk of crossing over that dynamite. Fair amount of uh, collapsed backfill. You can see that this is all backfill that they just smashed into the stope that would have been there. Um, the backfill wasn't filling it. We got a couple options here. Rails off that way. Now we'll try the right first. This kind of looks like a short dead end. Yeesh. Yeah, this whole, this whole, this whole section's falling down here. And it does, it does terminate back there, what looks like a collapse. Okay. Let's back out toward the winds. And then this way, we have yet to explore. Some timber sets. Paved drift by the looks of it. And that does continue. So it did continue, but the face is right there. And that's it. Alright, we're back at the shaft station. Sorry, the wind station. And there's uh, this drift left for us to check out. So we'll go down there and see what we can find.
That's a pretty nasty boulder from right there. So, got some stuff here. There's some sort of false floor there. And then some unfilled stopes up that way. This doesn't look too great. Yep, that's a total collapse right there. So, I think that does it for this level.